<laughs> All right, that's enough of that. All right, so if you're like me and you love sim racing or racing in general, you may want to do it on the go. So that's where this little puppy comes in. Let's get into it. All right, gang, so let's get into this Rotorite and what it's all about here for as far as mobile gaming, specific, specifically with, uh, well, not just specifically, but, you know, your Call of Duties that are out that are really fun to play. Your, you know, as you can see here, Grid, uh, it connects up to your PlayStation account if you want to um, stream your PlayStation. It works for that. It's really cool. Your Steam account, it'll work for that as well. Uh, stream into your controller so really really powerful little device here you can crank on your pc and stream over your uh steam steam games over to it so pretty neat i haven't checked out every aspect of that uh but that is its intention so and then also when you get the say the xbox game pass that's uh or the cloud what is it the cloud-based gaming uh that they're going to have for cell phones and stuff uh, and other devices and once that comes out, you'll be able to stream that as well directly to here. So you're going to be playing Gears of War on the go, which, you know, how cool is that? Uh, and, and at Forza and, and, and all, all the other great Xbox exclusive games. So that'll be really cool. Um, set that right there. But yeah, it's, it's some good stuff here. I'm really enjoying this controller. So I want to go over some of the features that I really like about this thing. So... Now, first off, it comes in a box, right? <laughs> it's a box, and it looks good. It does the job, keeps the package uh, well enough. Uh, it did, not have, did not have any issues with it. Now, it comes in the box. It comes with this little, uh, little knob here, and I'll just go ahead and unscrew it just so you can see what's going on here. Comes with, obviously, the controller that's wired. This little holding device right here that adjust up and down with these two little um, tabs here. Nice logo on the back. I riot there. It looks really cool. I like the way that looks. Um, and then of course your little uh, your little screw screw knob there to uh, fasten it all down. You'll notice on the back of it here, it's indented here. It's got a little uh, square that it fits in there nice and easy. And of course you're going to want to put it, I mean you don't want to put it this way. It doesn't really it could go that way, right? But you'd be playing opposite. So it's pretty straightforward of how you need to mount it up. So obviously this, in this fashion here, <laughs> and then grab your knob and just kind of start screwing it into place. Oops, let me get it here. There we go. I'm fumbling. There we go. Screw it on into place. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So that's how it holds it together. Or slide your cell phone in there and you're good to go. Plug it in. Now, as far as features, before I get into showing you the end game of how it feels, uh, let me cover some of the features here. So being that it plugs into your cell phone, uh, there's no lag. So there's no latency problems if you're using, say, a Bluetooth controller or, or uh, uh, you know, wireless gigahertz stuff like that so uh no latency which is good right so if you're going to play competition games like call of duty which i had played a lot of call of duty with this controller and was just owning them uh, which was a lot of fun uh, but just because you're playing other people that are using the phone and trying to move the you know you got your phone here and you're trying to you know uh, move your character around with your fingers and up and down and, and fire and all that it's a lot going on, but it's very natural feeling to just grab a controller and use it and uh, move your guy around and fire and all that. It's it's, it's way more natural, and you're able to uh, uh, get things done and, and in a lot smoother fashion than you would be just using cell phone control. So I highly recommend a game device if you're going to be having fun with it uh, on the go. Now, uh, besides the, the plugging it in and, and uh, having the latency free, it obviously holds your cell phone. It can also charge your phone. So if you're plugging this into your cell phone, it also has a pass-through right here 
that you can plug into, you know, your USB cord. So let's say if you're at work or something and you don't want your, your phone to be dying while you're playing through your lunch hour, uh, you can plug this into your USB and then uh, to your computer. And yeah, that's it. That cable doesn't come with come with it, but you know, it's I think it's actually well, it's a USB C. It looks like uh, cable there, so you have a USB B to USB C cable to charge uh, your phone at the same time. So pretty cool stuff there. Uh, also, you have the L3 and R3 buttons for it, which are just like using an Xbox controller uh, that you would be used to. So all the features that would come with a, a AAA title that you would be used to using are available on this controller, which I really like. Uh, now, if you're going iOS, uh, which is what this one particular one is for, remember they do have one for iOS and Android. With iOS, you have over a thousand games that are playable with it, which is uh, way more than I would ever buy. But I, you know, it's a, a wide range of it. I actually use it with the Apple with the uh, Apple Play Store that they have going on there, but you pay like $5 a month for it just to play the games. And playing Frogger with a controller is way better than playing Frogger without a controller. So able to uh, move my guy around with uh, the greatest of ease. So <laughs> good stuff there. Now Android, if you go with the Android route, there's over 400 games that it's covering there. Less games, of course, but uh, check with the uh, description of the Rotor Ride to see what uh, Apple or sorry what Android devices work with it pretty much all of the most popular ones like the Samsung line like Samsung Note 9 the S9 the Galaxy S9 uh, Note 8 uh, S8 S8 Plus Google Pixel 2 XLs I'm just reading off some here 3 XLs of the pixels uh, and so on right so a lot a lot a lot of phones that it works for so uh, even the uh, the uh, V30, the LG V30s uh, as well, it's on the list there. So uh, good, a good gamut of phones, right? So anyway, so that's that's pretty much all the features and stuff, and that would be the the, the pros as well of that because uh, there's not really a lot of cons to this thing. So let's get into me showing you this thing in action, right? So I'm gonna grab my phone here. And we're going to load up some um, some grid because that's what we were playing a while ago. Let's play it again. And want to slide it on there like that. Easy peasy. There you go. And you don't have to plug it in. Now, if you plug this in, watch what happens. I'm sorry, you do have to plug it in to get controls, but uh, what I'm saying you don't have to do is you don't have to load up the Luda map that comes up. You can ignore it or allow it, but I'm going to allow it because I want to show you what it is. Uh, in this app here, you basically, as you can see here, you got full control of it, full control with your D-pad, however you want to do it to go through uh, and look at your games and stuff, which is cool. Now, these games you can go ahead and download straight through this app. But basically what this app is telling you is what games are available uh, for um, this controller. So it makes it nice and easy for you to figure out, well, what games will actually work with the controller, which I really like. Here's your Steam Link, which is cool. Grand Theft Auto stuff. Uh, you can go down into features, categories, and start you know dividing them up into categories that you may be interested in. Free ones, console quality even. Let's look at that so pretty cool so it divides it up really nice uh, so you can tell what the heck works with this controller I don't want to spend my money on something that doesn't necessarily work with the controller so good stuff right there uh, for instance I did find one particular game uh, that didn't work with this controller but it was free so I just deleted it afterwards it was a racing game uh, but yeah good stuff there so I'm gonna go ahead and swipe that to the side and go into here and hit start and we will play a little bit of grid auto sports now as far as how it feels in your hand it's a little top heavy as you can see it'll rotate if i let go of it it'll rotate forward uh nice and easy and uh so that's how why i would want like i mentioned earlier i'd want this to come out to the center of this a little bit more to help center the the mass in the middle of the controller plus it would actually get a little bit closer to your face 
As far as functionality of the game itself, you have all the controllers, especially in this grid game, as if you would using an Xbox controller. Uh, you know, your gas being right here, uh, your brake here, uh, your, your, your assigning for grid, whereas, you know, your car, the status of your car and to tell your guy to progress uh, up the pack uh, and, and that, those sorts of things, you know, are on your D-pad. Uh, you got the rewind button as well. Uh, so all the functions is if you're just running off from using a console, but on your phone, on your phone. So really love this feature. Let me turn it up here. I'm going to shut up and let you just watch a little bit of the gameplay and you can see the, you know, if there's any latency, if you can actually tell a little bit through here, let's see. Get it in camera. All right, let's just volley through it. Different camera views. Whoa. Woo! Now I can rewind since I messed up. There we go. Easy to hold the throttle where you want it to. Throttle control is really good. And get it in camera here. Oops. I'm looking at the camera to make sure I'm in focus here for you. <laughs> so excuse the driving. Caught that slide. I don't think I would have done that with the phone controls. I know I wouldn't have. I think you get it there. That's enough of a demonstration there, but you can see how you can actually be quite smooth uh, with it if you're concentrating on what you're doing here. And the the trigger here is is very helpful as far as you know the feel and the travel of it and stuff. It's really nice actually. I really like that. Uh, let me see. I hit the menu button. That pauses it there. Uh, now there is not no haptic uh, rumble or anything in this particular controller which I would love to see that, but if that happened, then you would need batteries in this controller. But, and, and that is a feature actually I love about this controller is I don't have to buy batteries for it. I can just throw it in my uh, bag or in my lunch pail and when I go to work and then uh, uh, pull it out when I have some time to play some games during lunch and I don't have to worry about this thing being charged up. So I really like uh, that it, it's not something I have to carry around and have an extra expensive batteries for. So. Yes, it doesn't have the hap haptic feedback to it, but eh, for mobile gaming, I'm okay with that. Uh, that'd probably be the next level. So anyway, in conclusion for this thing, uh, for the money, I think it's $49 here. Uh, links below for it on, uh, for the Am uh, for the, on Amazon. I'll have some affiliate links below for you to check out uh, for the iOS version, which is the one I'm testing here. And then, of course, of the Android version as well. So if you have any questions, leave them down below. I'd be glad to answer them for you and uh, let you know, uh, you know, if it worked for a certain game or something like that that you may be interested in. So, But you can download the Luda app automatically anyway and just see what games are on there ahead of time before you decide to buy one. So I'd recommend you doing that as well. 
uh, just to check it out and see what's going on with it. So anyway, very, very good controller. Uh, the, it's console quality, in my opinion, as far as way way it uh, reacts to in-game uh, playing. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Until next time, we will see you on the track. I'm out.